wife. But, you know, the more and more I'm thinking about it, um, see, this is the current problem that we're having in AMC. Hear me out. There's a lot of skeletons in the closet. And the problem is the people who we're depending upon, like Gary Gensler, the Department of Justice, seem to be turning a blind eye. It's anybody's guess. You could say they're on the payroll, allegedly. You could say the market's corrupt, allegedly, whatever the case may be. We, we could all speculate. We could speculate. You know, I've been speculating for the past two years. I've been speculating for the past two years, you know, how many synthetics are there? Billions of synthetics, hundreds of billions of synthetics, trillions of synthetics. You know, I tried to protest. Mike the Marine, Mike uh, the, you know, male cowboy. That's, and, and not cowboy, but cow boy. He likes to milk male cows. He did his protest. You know, Lou wants to appoint himself the king uh, of AMC. He wants to be the leader. Guy does it on one share. Guy does, Lou does it on a fractional share of AMC. Okay, so the thing is, what do you think really is the solution here? What do you feel is the solution? Charles Payne said it the best when he spoke to Mike, you know, the Marine, when he had the uh, Occupy SEC 2023. He said, all of you retail investors, all of you AMC apes, you're not organized. He goes, get organized. You're not organized, blah, blah, blah. But the thing is, you have to try to understand something, all of you. Okay. You ever hear of the term, the Illuminati? Again, you ever hear of the term, new world order? Okay. Listen, it's time that we face up to the reality. Okay. Even the president of the United States has to answer to higher powers. And I'm not going to get into anything specific here. I'm not going to mention. I'm not going to mention names, but let's just say there are higher powers. And if you actually believe, all of you, that you're going to somehow, whatever it is you want to do, protest. What's up, CC? If you think you're going to protest, if you think whatever, even writing letters, honestly, to the judge. Look, look. It's a nice thought. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's probably not going to work. Nothing is going to, there's just too many powerful, corrupt people in this country and in this world that run things. Okay. So I have a solution, but I wish all of you would listen to me. It's a very, very simple, simple solution. What's up back to the future. What's up CC. It's a very simple solution. We all group together. How much, how far? We join $9.99 membership. Now, just hear me out. Before you think this is some sort of scam, before you think this is some sort of grift, try to have an open mind, okay? What you're not understanding is it's a big F you to Citadel, to Adam Aaron, to all the corruption, to Gary Gensler, to Charles Payne. It's showing them we're all organized. This is what you're not understanding. It's showing them that we can accomplish things. We could become major, major successes, live like billionaires, live like billionaires without their help. Okay, because like, I, 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 let me be honest, maybe you don't realize this, but you are counting on people. You are very dependent. You're counting on Gary Gensler to do his job. You are, pure and simple. You are. You're counting on the Department of Justice to investigate Citadel. You're counting on Adam Aaron, okay, to, to do a good job as CEO. You don't realize how dependent all of you are. You're dependent on people who don't give a shit if you live or die. They don't care. They don't care. They're out to line their own pockets. They're out to make themselves rich at our expense. At, at, they want to use our money to make themselves rich. And I just don't know how long it's going to take you to realize that. I don't know if you need to, you know, take another year of your life to realize that, another 10 years of your life. Listen, the casino and the stock markets, they're all the same. They're there to take your money, pure and simple. They're there to take your money, okay? Can you make crumbs? Yes. I made a couple of bucks at the casino, but over the long term, that's why I'm not going back. 
I made my $6,000. I'm not going back to the casino because I know the second I go back, they're going to take all my money away from me. It's the same thing with the stock market. It's kind of like, look, can you get lucky at some point and make a couple of fuzzles? You can. But, the, but look, Donald Trump said it the best. I was watching this interview on him not too long ago. And he, someone asked him, why do you invest mostly in like real estate and not the stock market? He goes, I met a lot of very successful people in my life. This is what Donald J. Trump said. He goes, and the ones that invested in the stock market, and he goes, I'm not even talking about like speculative stocks. He goes, I'm talking about very conservative blue chip stocks. He goes, have lost 50% of their net worth. He goes in every case scenario. In every case scenario, they all lose their money. Okay, now, of course, I, I know you're gonna, everyone's gonna say Warren Buffett. Okay, but there's only one Warren Buffett. Majority of people, honestly, lose money in the stock market. I gotta break it to you. Majority of people, okay? So it, it, it's just that it's a rigged system. It's corrupt, okay? So ultimately, the way I see it, it makes more sense for us to all work together to not only become successful, but to live like millionaires, to live like billionaires. And you know, this one guy made a great point before. He was on my live stream before. I said, what could you do with $9.99? What could you do with it? He goes, you can't even, a fall, he says to me, you can't even go to Wendy's, this is what he said to me, and buy a Baconator freaking co combo. You can't get, you know, like Dale, like, you know, daddy's boy, Triple Chin Dale goes to McDonald's and he can only afford a fish sandwich. He can't afford the combo. He can't afford the fries. He can't afford a soda. Listen to me. There's nothing you could do with $9.99, okay? I'm offering people an opportunity and I just don't think you understand this. If we all work together, if we all group together, I could purchase the eight mansion. Now it could be one of many. Like I said, it could start in Jersey, and the next thing you know, it's nationwide. You could have multiple, multiple eight mansions. Now, what I'm trying to envision is something very, very similar to the Playboy Mansion. You Hefner. I'm talking about having women dressed up. Like, I want the whole theme to be like a jungle because we're apes, right? Aren't we apes? I want the ape mansion, the whole theme to be a jungle theme. I want to see women dressed up like Amazon goddesses. I want to see a big gigantic gorilla pool, a heated gorilla pool, a heated hot tub. This is not this hard to achieve. Now you might say, but hey, Father, I just don't understand. What's the point of this? It could lead to bigger things. See, you don't think big. None of you think big. See, look, just the fact, you want to hear funny? Just if I accomplish this one thing, listen to me. If I accomplished only one thing, and I purchased the eight mansion. It's going to get major, major news. Okay. With now I want to interview with Charles Payne. Let me talk to Charles Payne then. He's going to see we're getting organized. He's going to see that we're doing things that are very, very impressive. That opens doors. People talk. Next thing you know, it opens doors to a potential AMC Boaz. And I'm going to explain to you how, because I'm going to tell you exactly how. Right now, every door is slammed in our face. Nobody gives a shit about us. The government doesn't give a shit about us. Gary Gensler doesn't give a shit about us. The Department of Justice doesn't. No one effing cares. But the, you know when people care? When you start doing well. Listen to me. You want to know why Donald Trump ultimately became the 45th president of the United States? Because everybody admired him. They see him with the 747 jet. They see him with all the skyscrapers, with his name on the skyscrapers. They see him with the casinos. They see him with the Trump princess yacht. They see him living like the, the American dream. And that's really the truth. That's what attracted everybody to Donald Trump because of the life that he lived was phenomenal. The Taj Mahal, you understand? Okay, it's a similar situation with the AMC apes. If people start seeing us, with our own, the ape jet, our own ape jet. People start seeing us with the own ape yachts, ape mansions. What you don't understand is it's going to get people talking. 
People are going to be impressed. People are going to be like, who are these group of retail investors that are living like billionaires? And then what's going to happen, it turns into a movie. What happens, they hear our story, how we went from a corrupt Wall Street, a corrupt marketplace, to living like like friggin' billionaires. And it's like, for what? $9.99 a month? What can you do with that? It's like I said, someone just recently said, hey, father, I can't even go to Wendy's. I can't even go to Wendy's and buy a Baconator combo with fries and a drink for $9.99. Okay, so I just don't understand why would you rather keep $9.99 when you could be a part of how much, how far, where we could live like millionaires, live like billionaires? I just don't get it. I don't understand the concept. We could have the ape mansion, the ape yachts. We could be driving luxury cars. We could have the best of everything in the world. And we will be the talk of the world. We'll be famous And yes, we'll do charity work. I will help people who are homeless. I will give people a better life. I'm going to help people. I just don't understand because, listen to me, I wish you would try things my way for a change. Okay, you tried it your way. You did, everybody did everything. You listened to Lou. How how is that working for you, listening to Lou? It's working good. Lou cost everybody money. Lou lost everybody money. Okay, we tried protesting. Mike the Marine tried to protest. How did it work out? Okay, it's like nothing is working. So why don't you try a different approach? Why don't you try something different? Why don't you be open-minded? Why don't you be open-minded? It's all, all of these people are just haters here. How are 100,000 members going to be able to share a single batch in a yacht? See, you're not understanding something. Listen to me. How much, how far are you ready is going to continue to grow. And what happens is that, listen to me, which you're not understanding, you're just not, you're not getting it, okay? You're the people who are paying the $9.99 a month. As we get established, that membership is going to grow to a higher price. It's, it's going to be now 500 a month, 700 a month. Okay, and eventually what's going to happen is we're going to acquire not one mansion, but 10 mansions, 20 mansions. You you just see, what you don't understand is this. Have you ever heard of the expression baby steps? Have you ever heard of that before? Okay, you're 100% correct. One mansion, one mansion is going to be very, very difficult to accommodate 100,000 people. But what about 1,000 mansions? What about, what about, you know, like, like, like and I'm going to explain to you how, because I know what you're thinking. You're like, what are you talking about? There is, once you accomplish something in life, you have no idea how, how easy it is to get revenue. You ever hear of something called sponsors? You ever hear of Budweiser? Does Budweiser ring a bell? I'm just curious. You ever hear of the name Budweiser? Okay. Well, once you start doing these things, are you ready? You could do so many things to make extra revenue. You have absolutely no idea. You could start a website. You could have sponsors. You could get endorsements because you're going to be dealing with so many people. You understand? And someone just gave me a dollar ninety nine. I'm not sure who it is. Let me see. It's always JT14. I love this guy, bro. Join how much I'll fall for the love of God. All you do is keep giving me money on these super chats. Just go to the damn video where it says join, <laughs> join for nine dollars and ninety. The guy gave me I think fifty dollars already. He gave me fifty dollars. God bless. Okay. So what you're not understanding is that. All right, I'll give you an example. Facebook. You know the website Facebook. When Facebook f- first started, are you ready? It was making absolutely no revenue. It was making absolutely nothing, not $1. But what happened was they kept growing and growing and growing in terms of their members. Now they're making hundreds of billions of dollars. Listen to me. It's the same exact concept with how much, how far. You could actually start a members-only website. You understand? Where those same 100,000 members, this guy keeps giving me money. I just don't understand why. JT14, God bless you. I love you. I love you, brother. 
I'd just appreciate it if you became a member with all the money you spend. But, but, but thank you and God bless you. Okay. You could start a members only website for how much, how far. Now, let's say it got to the point, right? Where you had 1 million members. Because I'm trying to answer that question to that guy. Who's that guy who asked that question? Let me see. Um, X-D-Y-L-D-O-G-X. Okay. So let's say you have 1 million members. What you're not understanding is you could create a members-only website, and now you got advertisement revenue coming in. All of this money coming in, sponsorship money coming in. Before you know it, you're not just going to have one eight mansion. You're not going to have one. You're going to have a hundred eight mansions. Okay. But you, you think small, like the tiny effing balls that you probably have between your legs. You think too small. That's what your problem is. You get, you know what your problem is with all you people is you don't understand. You know, when you build a friggin' skyscraper, it starts with one brick. It starts with one brick. And then it's two bricks and it's three bricks. Then it's a thousand bricks. Then it's 10,000 bricks. Then it's a hundred thousand bricks. Then it's a million bricks. You're not understanding. The first mansion is going to be like a prototype. It just shows the world that we did something. We accomplished something. It's not meant to accommodate a hundred thousand people. Okay. But what happens is that now from that, 100,000 members, you start a members only website. Now it turns to a million members. Now you're making ad revenue from friggin' advertisers, from sponsors. Now other people who are joining How Much How Far are paying more than $9.99 a month. Okay, so do you see how it grows? It grows. Okay, here's an example. You wanna hear an example? All of these big cruise lines, you know what they're doing now? They're doing, they're getting like the 80s bands. Like, you know, they're getting Kiss. They're getting Motley Crue. The guy just keeps giving me money. I have no idea why. Yo, Cheap and Ape Anus are roasting Jen. Yeah, they're, a lot of people are roasting my wife. They're, they're freaking derelict, low-light pieces of shit. God bless you, by the way. I wish you just joined How Much How Far with all the money that you're giving me at Super Chats. But God bless you and thank you. My main, my main man here, JT14. So anyway, okay, let, let, let's let talk about this. Let's say we have the ape yacht. You, you follow me? You're not understanding, okay? There is so many additional ways to make money. Like if you get like Motley Crue, I'll just give you an example, to perform. You could get Budweiser to sponsor it. You could get Coors Light to sponsor it. You have no idea how much money you, we can make, there's going to be money hand over fist that can be made. And what's going to happen is the more and more money that how much our farm makes, the more people I'm going to be able to help. I want to help homeless people. I want to help people who are struggling. And on top of that, I want to continue to purchase assets that all of us can use. Trust me, at some point, you're going to see that. And you know what? There's easy things to do too. Like I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. You ever have like a gym membership? Because I know I had one. <laughs> okay. You ever notice how even though you're paying a monthly premium, right? You don't go to the gym every day. Okay. You don't go to the gym every day. It's the same thing with how much, how far. You're paying $9.99 a month. But this Mama Luke is thinking 100,000 people is going to all go there the same day. Did, it have, did, did you ever think to yourself that spread out throughout a whole year, we could organize it? We could organize it where everybody will get a chance to go there. And again, you're only thinking small. If you have 100,000 members paying $9.99, that is going to be $1 million a month. You could buy more than one mansion. You could buy, honestly, you could probably buy five of them at $2 million each, okay? And, and, you, and you realize that everyone's gonna go there at the same time, okay? And again, you're not counting money that could be made from, from sponsors. 
You're not counting money that can be made from endorsements. You're not, you're not counting money that can be made from having a members only website. You're thinking too small. I'm like reading all of these haters here. Everybody's a hater here. The only person that seems to be a good person is JT14. I'm looking at all these comments. I mean, it's just hate, 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 hate. Except for uh, CC and Back to the Future. Now, another thing, because Back to the Future said he was interested in possibly joining. You're going to have access to videos that I'm only going to make for members only. I don't, I keep repeating this. I'm going to make hysterical videos. So, so here's an example. Let's say CC and let's say Back to the Future join how much, how far membership. Now, obviously it's only two members, right? So we can't go out and buy the eight mansion yet because we only have two members, right? Okay, you're still going to get perks. I'm going to be making members only videos that only Back to the Future and CC are going to enjoy. No one else is going to be able to view them. They're going to be members only videos. And let me tell you something, when you see the effing videos I'm going to make and how hysterical they're going to be, that alone is worth the $9.99. Just the videos are going to be worth the $9.99 where you see what I'm going to record. It is going to be absolutely, incredibly funny ass videos. Sick, amazing videos, okay. Now, if that's not enough, okay, I'm going to start helping people, people in need, homeless people, people that are going through health problems, financial problems, so it's like, See, you're all thinking of only the eight mansion, like that moron, you understand? He's like, how could 100,000 people all use the eight mansion? Okay, let's put aside the eight mansion for a second, your friggin' mama Luke. Let's put that aside. If I helped even four people, five people, 10 people that were homeless, you understand? Gave them money to eat help them get a place maybe temporarily to live, to improve their lives, you know, new clothes, a shower, a shave, a, a dinner fit for a king, cash in their pocket, cash, okay? Isn't that worth $9.99 a month, knowing that we're helping people? So let's, let's go with your scenario, right? So your scenario, 100,000 people can't use one mansion. Okay, but let's say, we helped people. Let's say we helped people that were homeless and we fed them and we did beautiful God's work. Let me ask you this question. Is that worth $9.99? You friggin' mama Luke, piece of shit, asshole. Is that worth $9.99? That we're helping people, okay? We're helping people, okay? See, it's like, I'm trying to get people to understand that how much, how far is not just only about benefiting us. It's about benefiting people in need. Okay. That's what you're not getting. Okay. But the thing is, at the end of the day, I do want all of you to have perks. I do want all of you to have benefits. I do want all of you to come to the ape mansion. I do want all of you to come to the ape yacht, but also you got to be patient. You know what I mean? Rome wasn't built in a day. Let me build this friggin' thing. You know, feel the dreams, you know, the movie with Kevin Costner. If you build it, they will come. Well, he actually was, he will come. If you build it, he will come. Let me build this thing. Let me build it. Okay, let me turn it from one mansion to two mansions. Let me start a members only website. Let me get advertisers. Let me build it. 
It's like like this guy once again. He thinks small. He's like it's like it all has to happen like like this. It all has to happen in a second. And another thing is that what you don't understand is we're going to get a lot of press. We're going to get a lot of press. I could do commercials about about how much I fall, and I could connect it to the AMC apes to the retail investors. In other words, that's going to be the storyline. It's going to be the storyline of retail investors who trusted in a system, Wall Street, that's corrupt, that's rigged. That's going to be the storyline. And it's going to get people talking. How we all came together as one united ape family and said F you to the system, F you to the corruption, F you Adam Aaron, F you Gary Gensler, and we did it ourselves. See, but you see, you're not thinking of it that way. You're not, it's like, this is the problem. You're looking at it one way and one way only. Negative, negative. Eight father's a beggar. Eight father's a scammer. Eight father's a piece of garbage. But you want to know something, you mama Lukes? If you would listen to me, if you would listen to me, you would see amazing things accomplished. Things that you couldn't even fathom in your wildest imagination. You would see me do things. You would see me accomplish things that, that if you actually just trusted me, you would be like amazed. There would be a friggin' ape 747 jet. There would be ape yachts, mansions, limousines, but you're all closed-minded mother effers. That's why at the end of the day, I don't depend on you. I don't. I depend on me. And apparently this guy, uh, JT, and Tommy Stutch, of course. Thank you, Tommy Stutch. God bless you, brother. Uh, JT, he's this uh, guy, I'll tell you right here, Tommy. JT14. He just keeps giving me money on Super Chats. I wish the two of you would just join. How much I'll fall? Be a lot cheaper. <laughs> I think all the money you guys give me on Super Chats, you're better off just paying the $9.90. Listen, Tommy, I'm going to be making uh, videos that are members-only videos. So while we're waiting, right? While we're waiting to build up enough members in how much, how far to actually purchase the eight mansion, okay? You're going to enjoy as a member. The only reason why I'm not doing it yet is I have no members. So why should I go out, make these hysterical videos where I'm at a bar or I'm freaking scaring people in the street, um, I'm doing crazy shit. Why should I make these videos if I don't have any members? So once I start getting members of how much, how far, there are going to be members only videos. Now I'm telling you, just that alone is going to be worth the $9.99. Then when I start getting members, I want to start helping people. I want to start helping people. People who are homeless, people who are starving. I want to help them. You understand? There's going to be a charity element to how much how far. Let me be your camera man, Ape Father. Detective Pikachu, nothing is worth it to you. Kevin Brown. I don't see it succeeding, bro, but best of luck. Well, Kevin, let me ask you a question, and I don't mean to be a jerk off. Are you a millionaire, Kevin? Because I'm a millionaire, okay? So let me explain to you something, Kevin. And I'm not trying to be a jerk off to you either, but I have a $600,000 house. I have a $75,000 in-ground pool. I have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash. I have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in gold. I have a million dollar settlement coming in, okay? My children have a trust fund that is now well, well, well over $500,000. So Kevin, do me a favor and all due respect. If you're not at my level, shut the fuck up, <laughs> okay? Who the fuck are you to tell me what's not going to succeed when you probably can't even rub $200 bills together, you fucking loser, okay? 
You're I this you know what I love about people like 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 don't take this the wrong way. It's like if you're going to judge someone in this world, you have to either be at an equal situation, right? Or above them. Like let me ask you a question. Would I go to Donald Trump? Would I go to Donald Trump who's a multi multi billionaire and tell him, you know, like let's say Donald Trump said, "I have an idea." I want to build a skyscraper in New Jersey. Just, just as an example, I want to build a skyscraper in New Jersey. Who the fuck am I to go to Donald Trump and say, look, Donald, I don't think this idea is going to work. Best of luck to you. Who am I to say this to Donald Trump, who's a multi-billionaire, who has done this 100, 200 times already, skyscrapers all over the world. You get this guy like Kevin Brown. He probably lives with his mother. He's probably broke. He probably owns like friggin' one share of AMC. And he has the fucking cojones. And he has the balls to tell a fucking millionaire like myself what he thinks will work and what he thinks won't work. Your fucking penis probably doesn't work. That's what doesn't work. Okay, do me a favor. Shut the F up. No offense. Kevin, let me ask you a question. Who are you, bro? Who are you? How much are you worth? What's your net worth, Kevin? Kevin, I'm asking you a simple question. How much are you worth? Net net worth. What's your net? What's your net, Kevin? Negative fucking a dollar? How much are you worth? <laughs> How much you worth, Kevin? Kevin, do me a favor. Okay, listen to me. I'll tell you what. Here's my cell number. 347-942-6071. Kevin, do me a favor. Call me up. Have your lawyers call my lawyers. I will 100%. Let's have a little bit of a contest. Who has more money, me or you? Okay? Who has more money? And I'll tell you what, Kevin. When I wipe the floor f- which with your figure pathetic net worth, I want $100,000 from you. I want $100,000 from you. Okay, we're going to sign a little contract. Okay, Kevin, don't give me advice. I am superior to you. I am smarter than you. I am more successful than you. And I'm more intelligent than you. Go home and get your shine box. Go home and go buy your fucking Chef Boyardee dinner when today I'll go out and I'll have a $500 dinner. This is the guy who's giving me advice. I love it when losers give me advice. Like, I love that. (laughs) It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Call me crazy. You want to know what it's like? Imagine if I went to Mr. Beast right now, you understand? And I gave Mr. Beast advice. Like, let's say Mr. Beast came up with an idea to do a video. And I said, listen, Mr. Beast, no offense. Don't take this the wrong way. I don't think your video, I don't think it's going to work. I see, I now me personally, I wouldn't have the balls to do something like, like I would have the balls to do that because here's a guy who gets hundreds and hundreds of millions of views every video. Who the F am I? Who the F am I to tell Mr. Beast that his video idea won't work? But then you get this mama Luke like Kevin Brown, who's probably lives with his mom. The guy probably has a, a friggin' George Washington in his wallet. And he's telling me, a fucking millionaire, what's going to work. <laughs> he's t- <laughs> he's t- I don't think your idea is going to work. All right, thank you, Kevin. Do me a favor. Kevin, when it does work, you're hired to personally clean my toilet bowl. After I eat three porterhouse steaks and I shit out all the friggin' meat and I shit out all the juices from the steak, you are hired at $15 an hour to clean it up, brother, which is probably more than what you're currently earning right now. Fucking guy's probably unemployed. He probably doesn't even have a job. I, I, listen, listen to me. All these people are haters on this freaking live stream. 
And I told all of you, it's like, if it gets to the point where I'm wasting my time, look, here, here we go. Now, now, we, now we get the donations with Aid Soul, my family. I, I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna read it. I'm not gonna read it. Listen, brother. Understand something in life. There's a thing called karma. There's a thing called karma. You understand? You can laugh. Cleat, cleat. This guy, cleat. Uh, Taurus can laugh. Everybody can laugh. But remember something. What you wish on the people comes back to you. That's all I gotta say, motherfucker. What you wish on the people comes comes right back to you. Okay. You know what you all don't understand is that all of you haters, I just crossed 7 million views, okay? Caesar's hand. So essentially you want to be the next Mr. Beast. That is correct. That is correct. I just crossed 7 million views. And I'm going to make a prediction. Listen to me. I am going to get, are you ready? You're going to love this one. More views than Mr. Beast one day. I know you're all dying laughing. I know you're all hysterical. You probably just, if you were eating something, you probably choked it up. It probably came out of your mouth. You probably spit out at whatever drink was in your mouth. Okay. I'm going to be, come, the world's most famous YouTuber. It's going to happen. Okay. So what I'm trying to make all of you understand is this. With or without your help, <laughs> I'm going to be able to do how much, how far. So if you think that I need all of you, you're all crazy. See, you know what the truth is? You all need me. This is what you don't understand. I'm already living. Can we talk? Listen, can we be honest with each other? Can we be honest with each other? Okay. I'm already living an amazing life. Do you see how I'm in bed right now? Do you see this towel around my neck? Do you want to know why I'm in bed? Because I don't have a job. I, I'm not working. You want to know why I'm not working? Because I'm a fucking millionaire. I don't have to work. See, like right now, do you want to know what my options are? See, like all of you people are out right now, probably mopping floors at like Wawa. You're probably making $15 an hour minimum wage. Okay. I'm optioning right now what porterhouse steak restaurant I want to go to eat. This is what I'm optioning right now. This I'm optioning, you know, where where I want to go right now to eat. That that that's 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 my life. Okay. I have a $600,000 house. I got tons of money. I make my own schedule. I have a $75,000 in-ground pool. I have a beautiful hot tub. I have a jacuzzi. I, guys, listen. I'm already living a great life. AMC represents 10% of my net worth. And by the way, I'm making money on GameStop. I'm already doing well with GameStop. And I'm accumulating GameStop at a very fast rate. I'm accumulating it. I have a five-year plan. See, in my mind, if AMC doesn't pop, I'm going to make, in my mind, I'm going to make back my money that I lost from AMC with GameStop. See, I feel that in the next five years, GameStop is going to be about $80 to $100 a share. Okay? And if GameStop gets to about $80,000, uh, not 80, excuse me, if GameStop gets to eighty dollars a share, I'm pretty much going to recover all of my AMC losses. Now, understand, I am not telling you to do the same thing. I am not a financial planner. I do not give financial advice, so don't listen to me. But all these people are like, "Oh, you lost everything with AMC." I got a plan B. I'm accumulating a tremendous amount of GameStop, and I really, truly believe that GameStop is going to pop, okay? So you could all keep judging me. You could all keep pointing your finger at me and calling me the bad guy. But the bottom line is I'm doing pretty good. Gold is at an all-time high. It's doing great. I own a lot of physical gold, gold bullion. Gold is doing great. Okay. 
So I also believe that cash is king. Okay, cash is king. And I have cash. Okay, so the point is this. I don't need none of you. Okay, I don't need none of you. I'm not begging. Listen, I'm not begging. You see, D D Detective Pikachu thinks I'm begging. It's called presenting an idea. When you present an idea to someone, you're not begging. Like, I'll give you an example. Detective Pikachu. If you pick up a girl at a bar, let, let me give you an analogy, okay? You're going to present her with an opportunity, right? Listen, honey, I got an apartment not too long. You know, it's not too far from here. Why don't you come back to my, my apartment? We'll have a couple of drinks. Now, we know what you want to do, the, the, you know, Detective Pikachu. We understand you want to get in her pants. Okay, but let's say she turns you down. Let's say she says no. And most likely, most women will turn you down because your face probably looks like my fucking butthole. Your face looks like my butthole. So most women will probably turn you down. But this is the thing. Would you consider it begging that you just presented an opportunity to her? You presented an opportunity. You said, would you like to come back to my apartment? That's not begging. Let me, let me define to you what begging is. Begging would be if you went down on your hands and knees to this girl and you started crying like a little biatch, kissing her boots, kissing her boots, her feet, saying, please, please come back to my apartment. My schlong has not got wet in 15 years. Please, please. That's begging. That's what begging is. Okay, but just presenting an opportunity is not begging, Detective Pikachu. You People keep saying I lost over 200000 You only lose when you sell. I didn't sell yet. You only lose when you sell. And like I said, I'm in the green with GameStop. I'm doing well. So I don't want to keep repeating myself. <clears throat> You're an idiot, Millennium Collector. You're an idiot. My idea that I have is so much money that you have no idea. Okay. Once again, this is this is people once again that have no braids. It's impossible. Okay, listen. To me. The mansion alone. Can we just talk about the mansion, the eight mansion? Could cost anywhere between two to three billion dollars. So according to you, if I have all this money, in order for me to finance the eight mansion myself, I would have to sell my house. I would have to sell all of my gold. I would have to sell bonds. I would have to use all of my cash, right? And then what am I left with? What am I left with after I, because this guy is saying, why don't you finance all of this yourself? I can't. Okay. But here's what I can do. Here's what I can do. I can become a YouTube star. I can make billions of dollars on YouTube. And then I can find, fund, fund it myself. So that this way, I, I still leave myself with tons of cash. You understand? I still leave myself with tons of gold. I still leave myself with a beautiful house bonds, trust funds for my kid, and I use the money. It's kind of similar to what Lou is doing. Can we talk about Lou for a second? Okay. Lou stole $73,000 from senior citizens. Okay. None of you find nothing wrong with that because you all love Lou. None of you find nothing wrong that the man stole $73,000 from senior citizens. Who knows how Lou made back the $73,000, who knows, in order to pay the restitution. Do you know how Lou paid back the $73,000? YouTube earnings. YouTube earnings. Lou tricked all of you into constantly watching him because he has no idea what he's talking about, the guy. 
The guy knows more about the stock market than I do about building friggin' rocket ships with Elon Musk. Okay. So Lou fo fooled all of you to watch him. And with YouTube earnings, he was able to pay back the money he stole from senior citizens. Okay, Jesse, you don't have to, first of all, when you use the word donate, donate is not the correct word. It is a membership. This is not a donation. It's not a donation. It's a membership. And I don't know where you're coming up with $1,000. The membership is $9.99 a month. Now, I already explained all of this, Jesse. I, you know, Obviously, Jesse, you're not listening to me. I don't think any one of you are listening to me. I told you, until we get enough members in how much, how far to purchase the first eight mansion, I am going to offer all of you members only videos. Okay. So let me explain to you what that means, Jesse. Okay. If you join up how much, how far, and you spend $9.99. There may not be an eight mansion. Do you want to know why? Because one member is not enough money for me to fund the eight mansion. I need like 100,000 members. So what you're doing is you're paying this because you believe in the ape father, because you feel this will happen in the near future, and I am giving you members only videos for your $9.99 until we get enough members to purchase the first mansion. Now, you might say, why am I doing that? It's very, very simple. Because once how much, how far becomes a success, the membership fee is going to go up. It's not going to be $9.99 anymore. It might be $1,000 a month. It might be $750 a month. It might be $500 a month. So in other words, because you're getting in at the ground floor level before this thing is established, you are getting rock bottom discount membership prices, which will never go up. Never. So in other words, let's say two, three years down the line, we got a jet, we got yachts, we got mansions nationwide. Other people might be spending, Jesse, $1,000 a month. You're not. You're paying $9.99 a month because you had the foresight and the confidence to get involved at the beginning stages with me, the ground floor level. Do you, Gabby, shh. <clears throat> Excuse me, Caesar. It's exactly a timeshare. It's exactly a timeshare. In other words, all of the assets that I'm going to purchase are not going to be owned by any of you. You will not have any ownership interest, but you have what's called a membership. So let me give you an example of what I mean. Let's say we are, I own the eight mansion, right? You come down with your girlfriend. You go into the ape hot tub that's going to be shaped like a gorilla. You're drinking Dom Perignon, smoking cigars. All of this will be provided by the house. The house is going to have supplies of a bar, alcohol, uh, waitresses dressed up like, like a friggin' uh, Amazon uh, goddesses. Okay? Someone's going to be there, a chef that could cook you a friggin' uh, a steak. You understand? So in other words, it's kind of like a timeshare in the sense that you're sharing that space, okay, because of your membership fee. And every single thing that's in the eight mansion is yours to use. If there's a gym inside there, you could use it. If there's a room that has a big pole and I got one of my Amazon goddesses dancing for you, you could sit back like you're in a strip club and you could enjoy the show. You could enjoy a lap dance. Cabbie, <laughs> okay? 
I'm just giving you examples. What there might be a big room in the Ape Mansion that's a movie theater, and you could sit back, eat popcorn, or watch a movie. In other words, whatever is in this mansion is yours to use. Okay, it's the same concept with every single asset that ultimately I purchase. See, but what all of you don't understand is that you're making it seem like, like this stuff is hard to accomplish. You don't realize we can accomplish this by tomorrow. We can all accomplish this by tomorrow. If all of you would just have the balls to sign up to how much, how far, and everybody would share this and get their friends involved, we could have this thing done by tomorrow. And we could literally start construction on the eight mansion. And this could all happen just like this. Okay. You know what holds it back? Procrastination. <clears throat> As Bobcat. I like Bobcat. He's a good guy. These people watching don't even have a full-time job. Unfortunately, I am home with my wife after surgery. Bobcat, believe me, I know all about my wife is going through stage four breast cancer, brother. Um, I know all about that stuff. I mean, I, I mean, your wife just had surgery. I just want to say God bless her, but I'm dealing with something that's terminal with my wife. It's, it's really scary, brother. Um, my heart goes out to you. My heart goes out to your wife. And I, I wish her a very speedy recovery and God bless you and God bless your family, brother. <clears throat> Listen, I already know what's gonna happen. Very, very few people, if, if honestly, if any, it might be zero. I'll go to join how much, how far right now. That's, I know this. I'm not an idiot. But you know what's going to happen? When I become a big YouTube star, which is going to happen, and I start making millions of dollars on YouTube, and I start funding all of this stuff myself, I fund the uh, Ape Mansion. I fund the yacht. Okay. People are going to join my membership. It may not be apes. It could be actually, you want to hear the funny thing? I might wind up getting members from people who are not even apes. Like in other words, I might, let's say, let, let, let me, hear me out for a second. Let's say I become a big YouTube star. I make $5 million. Okay. Now I buy the ape mansion, right? Let's say I put it somewhere in the Jersey Shore. People who now will sign up for that timeshare, that membership, might just be local people in Jersey. So like, in other words, they're not people on YouTube. They're not AMC apes. They're just local people who want to come down and just use the facilities and, and live like kings, okay? Now, the thing is, I don't need none of you. This is what I'm trying. <laughs> See, I think you guys got it backwards, okay? You all need me. You all need me. See, you got this backwards. You think I need you. You're all failing to understand I'm living a great life right now. I have a beautiful house, a $75,000 in-ground pool. I have a hot tub. I eat out every night. Every night I'm having ribeye steaks, prime rib steaks, porterhouse steaks, Italian feasts. You, you just, you, All of you are simply not understanding that I'm already living a very, very good life. Guess who's not living the good life? You. All of you are not living the good life. Okay. I'm giving you all an opportunity to live the good life. But you're too stupid to understand that. You're too stupid to understand that I'm giving you the opportunity. Okay. You just don't understand there's nothing you could do with $9.99, your Baba Luke's. You can't do anything with it. You can't do anything with it. What, 
What are you going to do with it? Tell, tell me. Can, can, can people tell me in the comment section what you could do with $9.99? Tell me. What could you do with it? Not much, right? Doesn't it make more sense to spend $9.99 where you will have access to the eight mansion? Doesn't it make more sense for $9.99 where you will have access to the ape yacht. Doesn't it make more sense for $9.99 that you will have access to some of the most talented, prestigious chefs preparing gourmet dinners for you? Doesn't it make more sense for $9.99 for you and your girl to be in a limousine drinking Dom Perignon? Doesn't it make more sense for $9.99 that we could help people in need? We could help homeless people in need, give them food, money, a place to live, clothing, okay? Take care of them, okay? But you see, you're not all seeing it that way. The way you're looking at it is you want to keep your $9.99. So I'm going to applaud you. Hey, listen. I'm applauding you. Keep your $9.99. Now, let me ask you this question. What the F-U-C-K are you now going... Since you're keeping your money, right? Okay. You're keeping your $9.99. What, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with the $9.99? Tell me. Buy five lotto tickets. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Okay. <clears throat> Do you understand what my point is? My point is that if you have a, 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 a decent IQ, listen to me. If you have a decent IQ, you're going to understand something. You can't do anything with $9.99. But if you join, how much, how far, you could have an opportunity to live like a millionaire, possibly a billionaire. Who's this guy saying, when am I going to get a job? Uh, AP95, I'm a millionaire, brother. I don't have to get a job. You should go get a job, okay? I don't need I don't need a job, brother. Listen, Caesar, it took me three years before I won the, the New York Lotto I played. It's hard to win, brother. I'm still trying to win a jersey, by the way. I'm still trying to win the New Jersey pick four lotto. So far, after five years, I haven't won. I've been playing uh the New Jersey Lotto since 2018. My number still hasn't come out. So, uh, you know, it's not an easy thing, Caesar. It's not an easy thing to win the lotto, brother. <coughs> Some guy says, I'll subscribe if you eat. I don't understand. All I do is eat. I would say out of 16,000 videos, 15,000 of them is me eating. All I do is eat. I, I don't, he must be a new, uh, he must be a new person. He doesn't know the eight father. The eight father eats at restaurants every day, brother. I eat at restaurants every day. He goes, I'll subscribe if you eat. Well, why don't you take a second after this live stream is over and go watch my many thousands and thousands of videos where I'm eating like tremendous amounts of food. Okay. Anyway, it's getting close to me ending this live stream. You can't accomplish something by laying in bed all day, eight father. See, once again, here's an example. Here's another guy, this guy, Jesse, okay? Here's another guy who's judging me when I'm a fucking millionaire. Here's another guy. Here's another, <laughs> here's another guy 
who's telling me what I can do and what I can't do. Jesse, do me a favor, brother. Listen to me. I'm going to spend money going out to eat probably IHOP right now. I'm probably going to spend about $200. Jesse, it's probably more money that you have invested in the stock market. Okay, so do, do, do me a favor, Jesse. Don't tell me what I can accomplish, okay, brother? Don't tell me what I can accomplish. You understand? Don't tell me what I can accomplish. Guy, prob The guy probably doesn't even have $200 invested in the stock market. We want to see you in a hot dog eating contest. Listen, I'm no Joey Chestnut, all right? Listen, jo Joey, Ch Joey Chestnut is a king. That dude ate 73 freaking dating hot dogs in 10 minutes. See, you know what it is with me? Can I be honest with all of you? I'm not really like a speed eater. You know what I mean? If I actually tried, I think I could eat 30 or 40 hot dogs, possibly more. I'm not kidding you. I actually think I could. I might even be able to eat more than 40 hot dogs. But this is the thing. If you ask me to do it in 10 minutes, I can't do it. If you gave me like, you know, a couple of hours, I could probably, I could probably get 50 hot dogs down my, I, could, I might even be able to do more. I might even be able to do more. But I'm not a speed eater. I'm not. See, Joey Chestnut, he's a speed eater. He could he puts 73 hot dogs in his mouth, chews them and swallows them. He does that in 10 minutes. I, I can't do that. I, I there's no way I would die. I would die. I, I can't do that. I can't. I can't I can't I can't consume 73 hot dogs in 10 minutes. I can't do it. See, Jesse, what you don't understand is that. YouTube is a job. You understand me, brother? And I'm an investor, okay? And I make money. A lot of people don't, don't know things, but I day trade too. I don't tell you guys too much, but I buy a lot of penny stocks, okay? I day trade. The only reason why I don't mention it is because it, it, it's like, look, if I make, I'll give you an example, $200, I don't see the point in making a video. I really don't. I don't know. I'm not like, you know, I'm not like John Wick Snippin. I'm not like him. Like, I remember one time John Wick Snippin, right? He made a video that he made $30. I swear to you, I'm not kidding you. He goes, I made $30 today day trading. And I was just thinking to myself, what a pathetic loser. Like, why would someone actually make a video like that? He made a video saying, I made $30. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't do that. Like when I go to Atlantic City, if I make a couple of thousand, I'll make a video on that. But I'm not going to make a video saying I made $30. I'm not going to do that. So th the, the truth is a lot of times when I day trade, I don't make that much money. Like when I was investing in COSM, for instance. I made a couple of hundred bucks, 200, 300, 500. I made a video on it, but then I just decided to stop. I'm like, this is pathetic. This is pathetic because the ape father thinks big. If you truly understand the ape father's mentality, I want the whole effing bakery. You understand? I don't want one cake. I don't want one cannoli. You understand? I want the whole bakery. Okay. So I decided that the videos I want to make, I don't want to. I don't want to make videos where I make two hundred dollars and make a video. I think it's. I think it's embarrassing. I think it's pathetic. So I really prefer to push the narrative of how much, how far, because to me, how much, how far is thinking big, yachts, mansions, planes, limbos, you know, Ferraris. Lamborghinis. That's really my mindset. My mindset is not making videos like John Wick Snippin that he, that he uh, wants to sell silverware. You know, that's not my mindset. Sorry, that's not my mindset. And it doesn't even matter to me if nobody becomes a member of How Much How Far because I'll finance it myself one day and I will get members. Maybe they won't be apes. They might be local people who live in New Jersey. 
okay? But I will get members. With that said, it's time for me to sign off. It's over an hour. I got to go and get myself some, uh, probably, I don't know what I'm going to eat yet. It might be a IHOP. Probably going to get myself about a $200 breakfast. <laughs> so, peace out. This live stream is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. I'm not a financial planner.